available local recordings. Okay. Hello, Who's everyone. Yeah, we're going with this local. I don't know what why that popped up today. We're Good gonna morning, go with everyone. it. <laughs> I was literally typing in a message there to be like, "Give us one moment, guys. Like we're we're having technical issues with Streamer. They're they're doing the weird things to us today." They are doing very weird things to us today. Uploading recording studio to the recording site. Oh, interesting. See, now, it, so it must be a new thing. They need to tell us this. Good morning, Sarah Mickus. How are you? Are you up out of bed already, Sarah? Good morning, Jean. Oh, Jean's here. Yeah, morning, Jean, Leah. Paula, Leah, and Sarah, all good morning to you, ladies. So Sarah is someone that I work with. She sits right next to me every day. She is blessed. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what she says about that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, tell them how blessed you are. <laughs> and then she, she'll she probably come back in. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> she, um, she makes shirts. So she is making us our Disney Christmas shirts. Oh, cute. For our Christmas trips. Are you drinking already, Sarah? <laughs> I knew you had a problem, but <laughs> she doesn't have a problem. I promise. So I everybody watched her video at midnight. Besides me, I was I was snoring away. Paula, what did you think about the video? I was sleeping good too. Good morning, Heather. How are you, hon? Hello, Heather. Welcome. I'm glad you came. <laughs> Only when she's sitting next to me. <laughs> Sarah would be lost at work without me. So I only had two more file folders that I had laid out here. So I'm just don't have a plan this morning. So I'm just going to paint them up for journals and then we'll see where we go from there because it's been a morning. So much that I got my Johnny adult cup out. <laughs> <laughs> I keep randomly thinking about bringing one of those down to my craft room, but I'm just like, nah. Uh, I, I want to use my mug I painted from uh, Paint Yourself Silly. I love that cup. Right. I want to go do another one that, now that I know like how to do it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's really cute. I you need, I need my brother to, to send me pictures of his because his turned out fantastic. Yes. I want to see that. You have to so, um, show Sarah your cup. Sarah, he's got an amazing coffee cup. She's. If I can do it without spilling my coffee. If you spill it, just get out some paper and stop it up. <laughs> we learned that. Isn't that a cool cup? I love it. When, when I empty it, I'll, I'll, I'll show it better. 
but is it going to stay empty for long? Well, yeah, I, I have all my other coffee in different thermoses. Okay. I just bring I just bring it all down. I don't I don't transfer it over. Isn't that cool, Sarah? We need to find a place here and go make some. So I've been talking to Sarah about our community because she's um, she crochets and she likes to work with vinyl and she wants to start making um, resin pens like Sean's glitter pens he used to make and wraps and stuff. Since Sean is wanting to get out of it, I'm like, come and check us out and see what we're all about and... We can go from there, Sarah. Good morning, Brat. <laughs> Good morning, Diana. How are you? Oh, and for you that don't know, and Diana is Brat. <laughs> Leah, how was your birthday? He'll call you out on it. He's like, I that's my, that sweetheart. To you. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, how was your birthday gathering yesterday? Oh, was it her birthday? Um, May the 4th, she turned 50. Well, a April 4th? It's not May yet. Oh, yeah. April the 4th. Why am I thinking it's May 4th already? I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Because you know I would have blown up with doing May the 4th be with you stuff, so. Yes. You and my son both. So he's on the fence. Um, when we go to Disney, if he wants to build just one lightsaber or if he wants to build four because he needs the other four to complete the whole set. And I said, if you build four, I think I'm going to pass out in the street. Um, you can build one. And he was like, mother, I don't live at home. I'm like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So the one, so the ones you build, is that in the, the class or whatever? Or Yes. Okay. So now are those ones, are those like metal lightsabers, like metal casings for the hilts and everything? Um, Some of them or, have Are they the metal... plastic ones? Yeah, most of them are um, plastic. See, They're... yeah. Yeah, there are some metal parts to the lightsaber, but most of it is plastic. And I'm like, um, no, no. And like, then he reminds me that he doesn't live here. He's like, I'm not asking permission. I said, I'm still telling you no. <laughs> oh, so like. I would want to get a collection of lightsabers myself. Yeah. Um, with the whole building process, like I was expecting more, like the actual like metal hilts and everything like that, going to like Disney. Uh, yes. But but uh, they don't. Like no. the full on like thing. So I there's a. There's at least five different websites. You can order like your own make it kits or whatever. And they're like metal hilts and everything. And the blade itself, it's not a collapsible blade, but like you can actually do like uh like role playing like cop like uh lightsaber duels with it. So, mm -hmm. like, they can actually, like, clash against each other and still hold up. Wow. 
Yeah, and they they have all the sound effects. The lighting is fantastic through it, and everything. Like, but you can actually build your hilt for your lightsaber and everything. So for for you ladies that are viewing with us, we're talking about these lightsabers because at Disney, now it is an experience that's quite. Cool. I do have to, I have to say it. However, the price tag that they put on it, I'm like, uh, no. Yeah, no, and that's already what, built that's one. What got me. You don't need another one because I'm telling you, one lightsaber to build it there was two hundred and forty nine dollars plus tax. No, no, ma'am. Uh, uh. Nope. Yeah, and I'm like. Uh, no, you are not building four. I don't care if you live home with yeah, mom. Yeah, because that, that's going to be that's going to be your whole spending for the whole weekend or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No. Not worth it. Go to like. I'll, I'll have to find those websites and send you the links, but. Um, okay. Because like you can get like a like a legit looking lightsaber build like the metal parts and everything yourself for about that much instead of building a bunch of plastic together yes and it's actually going to hold up yes heather though they are good um the experience is nice but after you've done it once i I just can't see. But then again, people think it's crazy that we do the the Disney pin exchange. So <laughs> I do do that too. But you interact with people and <laughs> Sarah Mickus. Oh, Heather, it is like um he would definitely love the experience. And if he ever got the opportunity, I, I wouldn't say anything about somebody doing it for the first time because it was cool. But after you've done it, you don't need the other four. You just don't need them. Well, like, I don't, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't think when <laughs> I did it, I did, like, the whole like experience like in the class or whatever mm -hmm. they, they had their shop or whatever and then they had this huge like setup with bins with different parts and everything and you could just build it there okay they had the class or whatever or the experience but they but also had just a little like small workshop or whatever to do it yourself which okay. I think, what did I spend? I think, yeah. I think I spent like maybe $50 on that thing. So that but still, it's a bunch of plastic. I'm just yes. like, this isn't, this isn't really worth it. Like next time I'll just go on to like one of those websites and just get like a, a, a legit filling lightsaber. Instead of blowing my money at Disney, just because like it's Disney, right? Which is what happens, you know. You go there and the experience of oh my gosh, it's Disney, but then, who your pocketbook mm -hmm. is never the same after you go to Disney. Mm hmm. But we keep going back. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I love the Disney experience. Like, I've only been once, and I really want to go back. Mainly because, like, I never saw everything. Like, we were there so briefly. So, like, I definitely want to go back so I can actually experience it. Yes. But, yeah, I forgot I was working on that. Oopsie. Um, but 
Uh, yeah, I don't know if I... Oh, yeah, I get to try out my new brayer. <gasps> That's right! I've actually been waiting for another jelly printing day so I can do that. <laughs> I'm going to get my whole life situated. Up. And that's a tall order. I will. Thank you. Th these wings came from um, Miss uh, Elisa. Uh, that huge Happy Mail I got from her. Uh, this was one of the stencils. Speaking of Happy Mail, if you all did not see Miss Paula's video on her win from Miss Fava of four. Good golly, Miss Molly. Whew. It was amazing. Computer. Okay, what did I miss? When you get to my age. Oh no, Paula. I think I'm going to have to have Sean come and open my window. It's getting warm in the house today. I had to go get a dish of water for my sponge. All right. And my roommate's up. I need him to move his laundry. That way I can continue with mine as we go. Right. Give me one moment. I'll be right back. Okay. What is everybody... Gail is amazing. She did amazing work, Paula. I'll probably be talking about that forever. That was such a wonderful gift. Winnings. You won it. I shouldn't say gift, but it was so nice. All of the little um, bling pieces. I'm like, oh my God. Goodness. Probably trying to find places to put it, Paula. So what are you all working on this morning? Oh, I forgot after last week um, to go and link the supplies that you need for um, the last Saturday of the month. So when I get off of here today, I will try to go and link supplies for our foam metals. Remember that bag of guy tags I had in a baggie? Mm -hmm. I found other stuff, but I lost the guy tags in the back. Open that window, please, while you're staying in there. Where did you lose them at? I don't know. <laughs> Sean's losing stuff again today. Because I'm worried about your painting stuff. <gasps> you're getting your own heating press, Sarah? Hey, Casey, them wings look like Daryl's on, um, on his jacket. He is not in there. Oh. He's doing laundry. Huh. Somebody should be doing that. Huh. 
Huh. That's why I have a husband. <laughs> uh, I'm back. Casey, Sean was just in here and he was he was talking to you and I was like, um, he's not there. But he said, <laughs> he said those wings look like Daryl's from um, Walking Dead. Walking Dead on the back of his jacket. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you probably don't even watch The Walking Dead. I've actually finished the series. I just haven't watched any of the spinoffs. Oh. I know, sweetheart. Yesterday I was at 483. I woke up this morning and I was at 482. I'm like, Sean, what did you do? I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. We're getting closer. I've been like holding at like 138. Ooh, this one's going to be pretty. I think it's going to be my favorite. We'll just keep playing, sweetheart. That means the more I clean up, the more I can put in there. Like I added one of the stamp sets um, that I bought. I put it in there. Um, mm. Thrown in a few other little things. So the box may be. Uh, hi, Skylar. Everyone say hi to Skylar. Hey, That's Skylar. Good daughter. morning. Oh, Sarah, you're going to be working with a heat press? Yes. That will be fun. So I'm sure she'll be taking all of my money at work. <laughs> <laughs> Cause she'll do something and I'll like it. And I'll be like, I want that. She's already found all of these um, Disney villain images. I'm like, oh my goodness. Yum. So Sarah, do you like, um, purchase like digitals to use for stuff like that like we do for our papers to do your work or is there like a thing on the software that uh, has a bunch of this Inquiring minds would like to know. Yes, she and I sit and talk crafts at work and then we have another friend, Jordan, who buys up all kinds of the beaded ink pens with um, different sayings and beads at the top. And I was like, you should buy them and start doing them. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Wendy. How are you? 
open. Everybody, don't forget, Wendy and I are going to be playing with um, my new Switch Plus. Wendy, I said it. I remembered. Um, she is going to teach me to emboss and how the powders work and that kind of stuff since I've not done that before. So we're going to do that um, this coming Saturday at noon central time. When you said Switch Plus, I automatically thought of the uh, the game console. Yes, and I think that's why I never go to it for... Um, good I'm morning, like, Jill. She's going to teach you how to play video games? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm like, what's going on? What is what's going yes. on with the world? You should have heard me trying to tell her, you know, I got this new machine because Sean misplaced my other stuff. Um, and I was like, you know, the new Tim Holtz. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you seen his vault set? No. There there's a new vault line. Um, that he's put out. It's he's just bringing out uh, different scales from older designs that like have discontinued previously, oh. like a while ago. So he's bringing those out, and then he just presented uh, new Stampers Anonymous sets. I want the one uh for the Stampers Anonymous set he just presented. I think it was yesterday. I really want to get that set, uh, the one with the numbers in it. Oh, I'm going to have to go check it out. Mm-hmm. Nothing's to... wrong with gaming. They just threw me off. <laughs> 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 I was just like, oh, interesting. Sweetheart, I'm still waiting on my invite to play the word game with you. I've never been much of a gamer myself, so. Like, I got in the kick, like, when Halo first came out back in uh, the early 2000s. But, like, that, that was it. Once I beat the game, I, I got bored. <laughs> The Halo TV series isn't bad, though. On, uh, I think it's on Paramount. Um, I'm trying to think if we watch that, because right now, Sean has me watching Fallout. See, Michael and I started watching that the other day. Fallout? Yeah, we, just, we only watched the first episode, the pilot or whatever. I thought we were watching a movie with how long it was. It was super long, and I was like, um, why did I need to know her name, and what is going on, and okay, this isn't for me. <laughs> yeah. but well, I mean, I like, I, well, and then, like, what was it, like, towards the last third or quarter of it, they split off into different, like, things. Yes, they have like that, like military group or whatever, and then they have the mutant guy with the cowboy hat, and like after like the gal leaves the vault or whatnot, I'm just like, okay, so wait, I'm so yeah. confused. Like, yeah. is this is this all on the same time frame, or are they showing different timelines? What's going on? Yeah, it lost me. Yes, and I was, like, afraid to ask Sean what was going on because I was not paying attention. Because, like, the first episode, I'm like, um, this is weird. So weird. <laughs> um, so I'm like, I'm afraid if I ask questions, he's going to go, you want me to restart it? No, no, I don't. <laughs> Okay, so the brayer is actually pretty smooth. That's good. Which, oh, that's the Hobby Lobby brayer, right? Mm-hmm. From the papercraft department. 
Oh, wait, let me do it on this paper. It feels like it rolls smooth, too. So, there's that. All right. Go up with an M in the middle of the With the M in the middle of her. Oh, okay. I was going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> With an M, I was I was lost there for a moment. <laughs> I like that. I needed this therapy today because today has been one of those days. I slept in for the first time in forever, you guys. I, um, instead of being up at 2 33 o'clock, I actually Everybody got a up. round of applause for Miss Lindy getting to sleep Yay. in. Four o'clock. <laughs> I know, I know, I just, this color palette is, I love it. See, like, I'm going to make journals. I personally haven't film. tried Tim Holtz sprayer, like, and I've thought about buying it. Mm-hmm. But, like, I've heard so many complaints, but I can understand why it, like, is not smooth. It's not meant to be smooth. It's meant to be, like, jumpy or whatever to give that, like, distressed look when you use it, from my understanding. So, but I know, like, a lot of people have been, like, having fits with it. But I think it's it, it depends on what you're expecting out of a brayer, or what you expect from his brayer, I should say. But I don't know. Now I don't have I don't have his brayer, but I have the Ranger brayer. Yeah, and I love it. So I don't know See, if there's my, a difference. Mine's fairly from, close to yours. Yeah, I love the handle. See, mm -hmm. now I will go get that at Hobby Lobby because I love this handle. It's yeah. easy to grip for me. Oh, it sticks Good morning, to your Sierra. Oh. I, I, see, I didn't know about that, Lee. I haven't heard that part of it. Oh. That's not good. Let's do. Let's do a metallic. I don't use my metallic. Tom, what are you stuff. doing? What are you taking? I'm taking nothing. You probably hid my stuff. He's like taking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you, stuff. Stuff. you don't want me doing too much, and you hit it. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. Um, my back's to you. <laughs> I know you're rolling your eyes. I can tell. <laughs> I've been married to you for a very long while. He he can feel it. He can yes. definitely feel it. I can feel it. He can feel much. disturbance yeah. in the force. Yes, very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Diana, are you ready for him yet? Um, Leah said, "Don't be yelling at me, Sean." Did y'all hear I'm him back? I'm sure Diana's going to come phone? back and it was like, she probably deserved it, though. Right? J he was just being so awfully Diana loud. Going back to his defense. <laughs> <laughs> Be prepared, Leah. She's going to come at us. <laughs> Sierra. <laughs> Oh, see? 
Called it. Hey, hey, Diana, I'm sending him to your house. I'm trying to decompress here, and he's make, making all kinds of noise. <laughs> He just burst in here and I, starts going through my things. I love our little group. I do. <laughs> so much. Although I did have someone um, think that Diana and I were like, and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I was not being rude to her. She was not being rude to me. You just have to be in the, in the chat. And Sarah will let you know that I'm like this at work as well. A pain in her butt. Of course. Who else is going to count to her every day? <laughs> now what comes after three? Four? Them. Yes, uh, Sierra, I need something. I don't know if she'll uh, train him up. I, I think she'll just like baby him. <laughs> that sounds <Yes>. great. <laughs> there we go. You guys heard it. Bags are getting packed right now. One away. That's what all the, that's what all the noise is in the background. Him packing his bags. Yes. <laughs> That's him sorting through my stuff, Diana. You better come and get him. <laughs> Before she loses all this stuff. <laughs> I do not abuse you, Sarah Mickus. <laughs> she abuses. <laughs> oh gracious. I like counting to you every day. One singular sensation. Um, Wendy, he's working on making a mess. It sure sounds like it. It sounds like he's causing a disaster over there. Right? He is like... Oh, and he's working on a special project. What are you doing? <laughs> He's probably like, never mind me. You you mind your own business and jelly plate. <laughs> so it's mine. You didn't order it, so it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> See, I you gotta do it. stuff mine. now mine. while you keep mine. her busy, Casey, because I could throw all these brown bags away that she wants to keep to make journals because we have 50,000 of them. So if I could do it now, I could throw it away and she'll never know it. Wow. The exaggeration. Well, you just outed yourself though. Oh, so I it doesn't care. work. Right. Exaggeration. <laughs> I don't know what bag you're talking about. Sierra, we work um, at the department of veteran affairs here in Evansville. I know I have to, Leah. It's just part of the job. Oh, Casey, I like what you're doing there. 
Thank you. I see gears and black. Mm -hmm. Are you going to come back with some pink? <laughs> <laughs> You had the audacity to mention pink. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait. I'm going to do black and pink and white and silver. And I'm going to shabby sheet black. Okay. So now <laughs> my mug's empty. Now I can properly show you. I love this. Like, honestly, like, this side is my favorite side. Because they put, like, the paint through, like, a... They had lace there. I, I was completely baffled that they had lace there. I was like, oh, I know what to do with that. <laughs> Sean and Wendy said, back away from the bags. I do have to tell you guys, he just emptied a box out of my chaotic mess. See, I love math. Like, I mean, granted, I'm not as well practiced in it as I used to be. But, like, math was always my favorite subject in school. Until, like, you got to the point where you had to use calculators instead of, like, actually working it out on paper. I'd rather, like, figure out, like, all the formulas and everything to work it out. Um, I'm trying to think of what I want to add next. Ooh, I like this pull. Give this one. Ooh, I like that. That's fun. It's got the copper from the last pool and the green, and then it's got the gold and aqua green. Bye, Heather. Bye, Thanks Heather. For Thank you for in. coming in. We're here every Sunday. We'd like to have you back next week. I think I need to get a brown out. Let's try adding some brown. Ah. <laughs> Do I have like some this really cheap white? Yes. No, do I have one that's already open? Make sure I do. Let's see Don't, yeah. Okay. Rick Leah said, don't run too fast. You don't want to trip over yourself. Hey, Jill, welcome in. Sarah's good at her math. A little. Just a little. Like, randomly, like, I will find, like, equations or whatever, like, on the internet. And I'll just, like, write them down. And then, like, when I have a free moment, I'll actually go through... And like work them out. It's like math in general is like crosswords or doing Sudoku or anything to anybody else. Like, like it's just something I enjoy doing randomly here and there. Sarah's my person that when I'm sitting at the computer and I spell a word and I sit there for like five minutes and I'm like, all right, Sarah, spell this out. <laughs> like, 
I'll look at a word and it just looks like I can't spell. See, That's there's true. a handful of times like I'll like I swear I know how to spell it, but then I look at it and it looks so wrong. And I'm just like, is that right? And then I go on to like Google or whatever and I spell check. And I'm like, no, it's right. My brain's just stupid. <laughs> It, it yes. just doesn't agree that this is the way you should spell this word. <laughs> That's me at least once a week. I'm like, um, okay. And then I have moments that I just stare at the computer and I'm like, I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yep, then don't know what it was. Yep, must not have been important. Right, it is. it's about once a day. <laughs> Sometimes She's like, twice. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> once, once a day, huh? <laughs> she seems like, yeah, what, yeah, what, what, whatever helps you sleep at night, Lindy. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait till tomorrow, Sarah. Uh oh. Uh oh, you're you're in trouble. It's coming. I'm gonna eat cabbage today. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> if I wanted to threaten someone like that, I was like, I'm gonna drink a whole glass of milk before we meet up. <laughs> There it is when I add brown and a little bit of black to that palette. Loving mm. it. Oh, that's right. You're off tomorrow. Ah. Save the cabbage for later. Yes. Monday night. <laughs> Here, Jill. I'm just playing on a little less brown. I think I want a more gold palette this time. I'm going to keep that as my cleanup paper then. Um. <laughs> All right, Jill. <laughs> Do I have? Oh, that's right. Oh, I do. Okay. Where is... I do, though. Jill, do you have your plate out yet? I have a flourish stamp, don't I? I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or was it a stencil? But you have. Well, something. yeah, I, ha I have a stencil for sure. I have a Tim Holtz stencil. But I'm pretty sure that you had Tim Holtz's flourish stamp too, because I said I want oh, it. Oh, yeah, I do. That's not yeah. the one I was thinking of, but yeah, I do. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure I have a, like a dismounted um, red rubber uh, stamp. Yes. Now that you say that, I'm pretty sure you do. Now, can I fathom where it's at? Probably not. Hmm. 
So, Miss Deanna Grooms, I have to share with you guys, sent me Happy Mail, a new office mate, and he needs serious training. He is an HR nightmare, sitting at his computer helping him, and he screamed, if this cubicle is rocking, y'all don't come and knock it. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, you... No. It's like, I get you're trying to pull a joke. But, like, there's a time and place for jokes like that. And it ain't in the workplace. Sarah and I cut up, like, that, but it was, like, it's a she and I thing. Well, I think I'm going to have to use my Chum Holtz one because I cannot find that one. I try to use specific stamps for my jelly printing so I don't have to worry about potentially ruining the others because I suck at cleaning them off right away. Oh, Leah, I would love to see you at work. <laughs> I think you would fit in with Sarah and I all day long. I thought I had just thought of where I left it and then it escaped me. Then it went away as Quick yeah, as it came in. They're like, not today, Casey, not today. Right. Hateful brain. Right? <laughs> Sarah, you're sharing our secrets. I found a paisley one. That one might be fun. I like that. I might do that one instead. Until my brain collects itself on where I put things. Now, I think of what color I want to do. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> They're going to see me in a whole new light after today. <laughs> I don't know about a new light, but. <laughs> the real light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless someone changed the light bulb. <laughs> All right. I just want to cover these papers. Let's see. Okay, a black, white, copper. Mm. Let's do this combination and see what it brings out. Yes, Casey's looks amazing. I haven't even pulled it yet. Um, what color are you going to pull it with? Undetermined. 
Well, because I'm trying to figure out what I want to stamp the paisley with, but that's partially uh, going to determine on what I pull the whole thing with. Because I feel like if if I pull the whole thing with teal or turquoise or whatever, like all of this is going to pop like I want it to. So I, I, I'm thinking we're gonna do the paisley and burnt sienna. Oh. I need to get more burnt sienna. Like, look, I'm, uh -oh. I'm so low. It doesn't help that that's like my favorite cutter to use, like with just about anything and everything I do. Oh, did you take pictures, Sarah? Sarah Jill is a um, crocheter as well. Okay. That's it from that. And then clean up paper. I feel like, Sarah, I feel like that's all of us creators, like, no matter what type of creator we are, like, we're all squirrel brains, all of us. What? I am not. <laughs> I only have 10 projects going. That's the one thing I've learned when you're new to a certain crafting community. Like, I had all this thread and all this yarn and this happy crocheting. And then I fell in love with paper crafting. And then I'm like, oh, okay, not so bad. You buy some paper packs and you get stuck up on paper packs. And then you find mixed media and oh my gosh. And then you figure out how you can join all of it together. Yes. And then you like, you never have any money. <laughs> You're always yeah. broke now. Yeah, there is that too. <laughs> I hate that part. <laughs> yes. It's like, okay, I want to do this project. Oh, I've got to buy 50 things. <laughs> And then when the last item comes in, you're like, why did I buy that? Because you're already on to the next. Rabbit holes, rabbit holes, and we never get out. Nope. We're stuck in the hole. Or the gerbil wheel, whichever way you want to look at it okay. I'm try and grab him. Uh, we'll do a mix of the the turquoise and the teal well all I'm doing today is uh... <laughs> Sarah I know 
so all I'm doing is taking all of my papers that I have used to press other papers down um, and I'm double siding them so I can use them in journals because I'm going to start making journals, which is why I did this. I'm going to fold this up, this file folder, and I'm going to turn it into a journal. Um, I'm going to put these pages in them. Because I've got to get some of this moved out. I have way too much. So if you guys have a color suggestion today, yell them out. Good morning, Brenda. Did you sleep in this morning? Good morning, Brenda. Are you having a meme morning? Oh, my silver is almost empty on this. All right, we're going to see how this color combination works out. You stay up all night, Brenda. this yellow but I think I need it with a different color than the purple too late it's already done there's my bed I have it buried. Makes me squeaky. <laughs> My paper addiction dealer. <laughs> I will do that here in a moment, Miss Sarah. Mm. 
Man, I got tangled stuck in my head. Tangle? Tangled, the Disney movie. Yes. Or a fun Disney movie, yeah. Yeah. That is my future daughter-in-law's favorite Disney cartoon <clears throat> movie. Uh, I think that one has one of my favorite Disney duets in it. Lose the mob and pull out a dark blue. I think my original favorite Disney duet is from Aladdin. Yeah? Yeah. Which one? A Whole New World. When okay. I was younger, I could when I was younger, I could sing both parts. Most of the end of the old life there. Both parts. And also during that time, I, uh, you've seen Hercules. Seen Hercules? Yeah. Yes. So like dur during the time I was able to sing like both parts of like a whole new world from Aladdin. I was also uh, good at uh, Meg's song and Hercules. Uh, I won't say I'm in love. Yes. I used to have her song down too. Wow. All right, you guys, look at this real off sheet. I'm in love. Oh, that's going to be so much fun to play with. Especially if you do like a bunch of like stamping on there. Have you seen uh, Vern's posts lately? No, I don't. Vern. Who's Vern? Do I know Vern? Uh, she's been um, in uh, multiple uh, sales we uh, frequent. Okay. Um, she usually pops up with like a, a little green V in the chat, like her like chat head or whatever. I don't but, think uh, I've ever seen her channel. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to remember what her. Does she have? Cause she partnered with, uh, who is it? Did she partner with Triple V Vintage or something? I can't remember, but I think she sells on uh, Etsy. Okay. But she's been doing like a lot of like stamp collages and everything lately. And I think oh. that paper would look great if you did like some stamp collages on it. Okay, we did that um, on the man tags that Sean got. I just took out some number tags and I just started stamping. Yeah. So, yes, I will have to check that out. Blue Jill. <clears throat> I don't have another file folder in here, or I would do one for you. Oh, Sean, are you listening? <laughs> I need so like a file folder. <laughs> I think I should have added some deeper blues to the background. I mean, I like it. 
But I think it would have given it a little bit more dimension. Oh, well, yeah. Very nice. Not really fun. I like it. This one I may go back through and do some stamping with some text or something on it. Okay, now what? Um. <laughs> So the the crafter that does the faux metal tags that um, we're gonna do on the twenty seventh. Tony. 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 I I think I would not know what to say to her. Like I am like in awe of her and her work. I'm like, oh right. my gosh. And her presentation is so amazing. Right. Yes, because there's another craft and chat I want to do from her. Um, I'm like, huh, oh, Tony, can you, can you just like, I need you to pop in my head just a little bit. <laughs> right. Because she is, I don't know. Well, and the the way she's just willing to like completely like let go to the process. Yes. She's like, okay, this is what I want to do. And she plays and she does it. And, uh, and she has fun. Good morning, and Michael. And she can't hide. Good morning, Michael. How are you this morning? I mean, you can, she cannot hide her excitement. Oh, no. And that's what I appreciate. But she, she gets so giddy after each step. Like, even if it's going like the way she don't think it should. She's like, I'm just trusting the process. Like, it, it'll work itself out. Yeah. But like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah. Her stuff is so fun. Like, and her personality is fantastic. Her mindset's fantastic. It is. So, so you know, when you guys always say that, you know, like, you with Carrie, oh my gosh, if I, if I got to speak with Carrie the crafter, I would just not know what to say. But, and I'm like, yeah. You know, it is what it is. And then I finally understand what you guys are talking about. Yeah, you have that. Now you have that like crafter. You're like, ah. Uh. Yes. I'm like, Tony is it for me. I'm like, I, which is weird because she is, she is not, that's not generally my style. That's Sean and Casey. Mm-hmm. But I love her. I love her work. I love, I love it all. And maybe it's her presentation that makes me love it. I don't know. <clears throat> I will be right back. I'm going to get something for Miss Jill. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, we're talking about, uh, uh, I think the channel's called Crafty by Tony. Yeah. 
Hi, Hello, Rainbows. Hi. How are you? Good morning, Rainbows. Yes, it's Crafting Tony. Um, when I get off of here, I've got to link her today so you guys can get your supplies. Um, I might do a supply list down there. Um, oh, I just think she's amazing. Amazing. How are you, Rainbows? Michael, I think we all woke up later than we wanted to today. I it was just one of those air. days for all of us. It is. And then Sean slept in and I had to fix my own coffee this morning. Can you believe that? I'm like, what? He's like, Sean, don't you know how this is supposed to work? Like, you're supposed to get up before me, make the coffee. Right? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go Name find it. her link now. So you made the coffee, didn't go and buy it? I did. I made coffee myself. What I'm going to go ahead and link the video that we're going to do on the 27th so you guys can look at that. Oh, gracious, rainbows. to do let's do some of these rainbows what uh what all size jelly plates do you have because you could easily get 12 by 12 and just you like use your card stock and then just cut up into your uh, card making sizes. What what size jelly plates do you already have, Rainbows? Um, Wendy, are you still here? Where did? Oh, yeah, oh, I you haven't don't have any. Okay. I well, haven't played with these yet, but I have those. Oh, well, well, Rainbow, you're gonna have to get into the funk of uh, getting some jelly plates. Yes, we're trying to get. They make for awesome, uh, like, instead of using, like, a, a pallet uh, plate or whatever, these come in handy because, like, if you, if you use some of your paint but not all of it, you can always just roll it out and uh, pick it up with paper or whatever and then create uh, unique backgrounds for what you don't use. I do color clips. Color twitch? What's color twitch? It's 
When I think of color twitch, I think of me adding a color and then like me randomly twitching and then making a mess. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. So Brenda, Would you mind um, sharing with us. <laughs> if anybody needs any supplies for um, the 27th, reach out to Wendy. Um, she may have some or she may um, be able to get them. A color on my Twitch website. Oh, okay. So she does Twitch like the like streaming or whatever. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know what Twitch is. If I'm understanding that right. Um, Twitch is another like streaming service. Uh, well, not like movie watching or anything, but uh, where you can do like live um, chats or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of people that do it for gaming. Okay. I think. I think uh, it's most well known for uh, gamers. So Diana knows all about that. Michael used to stream on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think I've heard like some people doing like art and stuff on Twitch, but I, I, I had to set up an account only because my friend was, uh, I, I can't remember what game she was doing, but she was uh, streaming on it and i was uh, going on there to like support her to make sure like plus to make sure her feed was coming across all right so but i haven't been on since like we looked at that okay i'm, I'm on youtube too much <laughs> i was like you're a step ahead of me i didn't know anything about it yeah well i got a lot of like gamer friends that like stream on Twitch all the time, so. Okay. Brenda, it's been one of those mornings. My um, stream yard was acting up this morning. Um, it did a near, um, near, it did a new little option this morning, so I'm, I'm like, I hope this works. Um, so far, it's been okay. <laughs> yeah, we're so not far. exactly sure what it's trying to do in the background, but it's working okay, whatever it is. Yeah. Like, it's an option that I only see when you are doing a video, not a live stream. So, let's see. Jill, this is how yours is shaping up. I used to do YouTube, but a friend, oh, um, hmm. Brenda, you have to let me know what you think of Miss Tony when you watch her. Oh, yeah. Did you get that link in? I did. Okay, cool. And you know, while I have the link, I think I'm going to go in real quick and put it 
in my video that we need to. Oh, where? knows about Twitch. And they have many challenges. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Found it. <laughs> Found your flourish? Yeah. yeah. It's, in, it, it's in my tray with my stencils and uh, homemade foam stamps. Okay. Like, it, it makes sense because, like, I try to keep all that together. Oh, so Casey, now that I have my cutting, I need, I will need I'll need to get some Tim Holtz dies his numbers so I can make foam stamps for myself. Now that I got right. a die cutting machine, moving up in the world. Well, I had one. Did, you missed it. <laughs> Casey, what? Casey, you're going to love it. So I've had a Vagabond since they came out. Vagabond 2. Is that the one with the 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 doors that like collapse on the sides or whatever? It looks yes. like a little briefcase. Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, um... And Sean had put this little workstation together in my craft room. And he put in some kitchen cabinets with a countertop. And we got my machines out and put them there. And I was like, okay. And then he was off work. And I came home from work one day. And he took and he moved all of my machines. And he put them in the closet and then he couldn't get to the closet. So we finally dug my vagabond machine out. Scratch that. He dug it out. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought it in the living room and I said, um, honey, where's the plates? You got to have plates. I can't use it with just the machine. I can have plates. Yeah. He was like, there wasn't any plates. I'm like, there was plates in the box and we put them with the thing. And he goes, no, I don't remember taking any out of the box. And I was like, they were in there. They were with the machine and I showed him what they look like. And he was like, yeah, there wasn't any there. I'm like, are you kidding? I've not used this machine one time. The plates were there. Where are the plates? So his fix. He threw it away with the box, didn't he? I don't know. I'm hoping that we find them, but his fix was, um, I will just get you a new machine. So he bought me the switch plus and it came in this week. So now I can play because it's out and I know where everything's at before he moves it again. Yes. I'm like, stop <laughs> moving my stuff. Diana, do not defend him, not one bit. <laughs> um, Brenda, I have one of those too and have never used it. So we'll have to learn together too. Maybe I'll find someone and she can come in and do a craft and chat with everybody and we can learn to use our machine, our um, scan and cut too, because I have that and I'm like, 
I don't want a fuzzy cut, but I don't know how to use that machine. And See, sometimes I can get in the zone to fussy cut, but nine times out of ten, like, I, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, I, so you use yours to make coloring pages? Okay, which blue did I just use? Darn it. I don't want to use both blues, but I already forgot which blue I just used. I hate when I do that. Well, I mean, and they're sitting right next to each other. Yeah. So that doesn't help. I think it's one currently actually sitting on my glass mat, I think. Hopefully. I want to put one more design down, but I don't know. No? Okay. I think I know what design I want to put down. Leah, sometimes I find it relaxing, but other times I'm like, oh my God, this is a hindrance. I've got so much other stuff to do. I don't want to fussy cut. Yeah. But then from what I hear, like with the scanning cut, like you have to be very particular with that thing. Otherwise, it'll cut right through the item. Really? Yeah. But well, because like the lines have to be like really defined that you're cutting around. Otherwise you have to go through and like outline them for it to like scan it properly to cut it properly. Oh. So that, that, that's what I heard like from like a lot of people, like they like the idea of it, but it doesn't always like pan out. Great. I don't want something to create more work. I want, <laughs> I want less work. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like I thought about getting it too, but like I've heard like, like it, it, it's, it's such a finicky thing. All right, Miss Jill, what do you think? There's one side done. You got some corners you can play with. I'm starting the other side now. Brenda, I don't know what a wish blade is either. I've never heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of a wish blade. I want to do. 
Excuse me. Bless you. said my first electric cutter was the wish blade and i said i don't know what that is she said it's about 22 years old casey you were still in grade school i would have been <laughs> in middle school at the time no because i would have been uh 12 years old yeah middle school right yeah Yeah, that's before I figured out what any form of crafting was. Like I was in like a couple art classes or whatever, but like never really saw it as like my specific niche at the time. I was more into um, the home ec stuff because like we got to make food and like i wanted to be in home ec because i got to eat besides lunch okay at school so <laughs> gotta eat before lunch i gotta eat at lunch <laughs> so that's usually why i always took home ec <laughs> brenda i was changing diapers he's uh well i was potty breaking it was at the potty breaking age. So some diapers. Which he's coming to see his mama tonight. So that's a good thing. His mama's been having withdrawals. hard on us when, you know, he's been here, was here for 22 years and then they move out and then they just stop talking to you. Our mind did. And I say he stopped talking to me like I still want him to talk to me every day. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Yeah, I always forget to reach out to my mom, like, but, like, life gets busy and everything, and it just, just never crosses my mind. I know. I mean, but that, that's not, like, just family, that's friends as well, like, I, I just suck at keeping up with everybody. And that is definitely not one of my gifts. I wish it was. You know, I don't. I love keep... my friends and family, but. Yes, I don't keep up as well as I should. My brother's really good at it. My. I don't know where he got that gift from. But he's really good at it. All right. Jill, are you still here? I think she left us. Where's my was created by 
I'll be right back. I check the laundry at Buzz sent me. All right. Y'all are stuck with me. Stuck with me. And you know I'm enjoying my day because I've got messy hands. Computerized plotter it came out about the time people were putting fancy names. Okay. Right, I think I'm gonna put on. I like that yellow, so I'm just gonna put the yellow down. <laughs> and we're gonna do some pulls with the yellow. trouble I can get into with this one. Maybe not. I think I think we need to get a new heating element in our dryer because this is the third time I'm running the dryer on the same load. Oh, I bet so. That stinks. Either that or we need to get our dryer vent uh, cleared out, which we haven't done since we moved into the house. So. Okay. Which I know is a potential fire hazard. Get 
All right, there's silver. Oh, it was fun. Like, uh, Michael, we we did a karaoke and did some games at round one. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun doing karaoke. Like, the time passed by so fast. Like I was telling Lindy before we got on the live, and it was like, time flies when you sing like crap. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we all had a blast. Um, let's see. Faith, Sister, Summer. Like, she did some really good ones, uh, some Evanescence ones. And Ooh. she actually did some of those notes really good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I like Evanescence. Right? Oh my gosh. I like a lot of that like emo music era, like when Ev Evanescence was out. Like I just like a lot of the songs from that like music era. And then what songs did I do? I did Kryptonite by Three Doors Down. Okay. I did Poor Unfortunate Souls. I did Sweet Caroline. Uh, Razzle Dazzle from Chicago. Um, I did I See the Light from Tangled. I did a duet with that one, and I did a duet, Come What May, from Moulin Rouge. Oh, I did All of Me, uh, John Legend. I love that song. It's been a while since I listened to it, so there's there's a few random parts, and I was like, wait a minute. Does he got go high or low during this part? Or does he belt it out or keep it smooth at this part. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. I just get out there and I just sing and people are like, um, could you not sing that again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, what? Okay, so you don't was... like tone deaf? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that that's one thing when you go karaoke and if like a lot of people are like like a good handful of people like are tone deaf when they go karaoke. That's why everybody drinks when they karaoke. Right. Because <laughs> then I'm no like, one cares. <laughs> yeah. Because then my response always back is, um, I'm sorry, are you paying for this performance? <laughs> right. Or it's like, well, you could have had a stronger cocktail if you didn't want to like notice how bad my singing was. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm up here having fun yeah that's the point of it is to have fun you don't have to sing good yeah i'm like um didn't choose this as my profession yeah it was a good time good Now I have Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> good times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. That will be stuck in my head all day. <laughs> Earworm. 
one for Casey. <laughs> that this just brought to some of these. Mm -hmm. I think that's a strike there. And then we'll call that one done. What did you do last night, Michael? Probably just played games. Well, he, oh, I know he had like some pages he still needed to work on for um, the retreat. So I wonder if he worked on any of that. Um, is it like homework? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Um, so... There will be two journals put together at retreat. And each of us retreaters is supposed to um, make a page for each one. So we're each uh, supposed to have two uh, journal pages or art pages or however we want to do it made okay. for that. Okay. So... I have this one that we've been had been working on in uh, one of the lives. Very cool. I just realized I think a little splash of red would be nice in that. Like a dark red. Because I set it aside for the longest time because I it, it, it was just stuck. I'm just, I don't know what to do here. Like, cause I don't necessarily like where it's going. And Brenda was trying to help me and everything to like, I uh, get it to a good point or whatever, but everybody was trying to help me with him. Just like, and then he kept leaning this way or leaning that way. And I was like, it's not working out. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, he went foraging yesterday. I mean, yesterday, yesterday was really nice uh, towards the beginning of the day and probably towards the end of the day, but it was really hot in the middle. Okay. Today, we're supposed to have higher than normal temps. So... Is it just me or has like this week seemed to go by like fairly slow? Um, this week was slow and very weird. Um, and today just continued with the weirdness. Um, I don't know. It's kind of. I don't know, but yes. Yeah, because like my shifts, like usually they feel like they breeze by and I never know, like it feels like I've only been there a few hours and I've been there eight hours. So like this week, it just seemed to just drag. And I, I don't know what was going on, but that's the way my whole week has felt. Morel mushrooms are fantastic. I love fried morel mushrooms. You do? My sister yeah. does. I don't do mushrooms. See, I don't do mushrooms either, but fried morel mushrooms, I am perfectly fine with. Okay. One of my old managers, like, towards the beginning of my, like, career with Pepper Jacks, 
uh, he he loved foraging for morel mushrooms, and he brought them in one time and fried them in our fryer and everything. And I don't know what um, uh, breading or whatever he used on it, but oh my gosh, it is so yummy. Brenda, I don't know if it's like eating steak. <laughs> All right, now what color do I want to throw out there? Well, it would turn out fun. Oh, that did turn out fun. Did you just do that? Yep, I just pulled it. Well, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Tofu nuggets? Um, what? That's what Rainbow's saying. She likes making tofu nuggets. I'm not sure I ever had tofu nuggets. I never thought of them being a thing. No. Not sure that I've ever ate tofu, to be honest. Done right, tofu is actually not bad. <laughs> it, it just depends on what your palate is, like texture wise, mm -hmm. and then working with that. Mm. I mean, I would try it once. There's I'm not like a. Think. Michael, was it? Yeah, you and I have done like uh, tofu stuff with, uh, I think it was like with the hot pot type thing, if I remember right. But that turned out pretty good. Wait, you said the hot pot? Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever done hot pot before? No. No, nope, so, I must be really behind the times. <laughs> so, so hot pot you uh, you usually do at like your like Oriental restaurants or whatever, and they'll bring out a warmer and a pot that has like two different types of broths in it, and you choose like what type of veggies or meats you want, and this broth is like really really hot and you take these raw meats or raw veggies and you just like throw them in the pot for a little bit and then you pull them out and just eat them. Okay. Yeah. It's um, really good. Hot pots that are sounds fantastic. like something I would definitely try, but Sean would not. Why not? He is not adventurous when it comes to foods. I just now got him to eat crab cakes and shrimp. Um, but like you can get like you can get seafood, you can get like beef, chicken, like he and does it, eat Chinese, so so and uh they're really good with um like the veggies you can get with it, like bok choy is really good in hot pots. Um Uh, bean sprouts are really good in hot pots. There's Ooh, like these, like, sprouts. yeah, and there's these like thin mushrooms 
that make me think of bean sprouts. Those those aren't too bad. And I think you can even get noodles uh, to put in it. Oh, I can mm -hmm. do noodles. Brenda Hot Pot. Oh, there we go. Leah Hot Pots. And we're killing her. She's hungry. <laughs> yeah, Hot Pots and Pho. And what? Pho. P-H-L. People a lot of times mispronounce and call it Pho. Okay. But it's Pho. It's, it's like the F word without the CK. Okay. Interesting. I'm learning all kinds of new stuff today. Celery, straw, mushrooms, diced tomatoes. It's a soup base, more or less. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in, in a way, I can say it's fairly similar to pho, but like with a hot pot, you add things as you want to, where pho, like, uh, They'll just go ahead and throw it all in there for you. Okay. The adding as you go, Sean might be up for trying. That way he can pick and choose like what he wants in it. Yes. The other, yeah. not so sure. Okay, so... Like, I eat squid and... I love uh, calamari. Yes. I, I, like, was cautious of it. Like, when my mom first introduced me to it, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know about this. And I think we tried it at um, Olive Garden. And I was like, I don't know. And then, like, I tried it later on. And I was like, this is superior to Olive Garden. But then again, Olive Garden is the McDonald's of Italian restaurants. Uh, so. yeah. Hey, Salem and Sunny. <laughs> All right. Well, you go enjoy your lunch, uh, Rainbow. Yes. Thanks Have for a good hopping day. in. Thank you for coming. From a Jewish brisk. Um, I don't think I don't I've know what Jewish it. brisk is, so no. sure, I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know that either. Is that kind of like a mustard yellow you're using? Um, it is. It's um yellow okra oak you ochre. Ochre. There you go. I always mispronounce it. I'm like, oh, here we go again. It's not coming yeah. out. 
is not finding words. My, there, there is a thing called, uh, I think it's a vegetable or plant or whatever that's called okra. Yes. Michael loves that. I don't. I <laughs> like, like it the, fried. The texture is weird. I will only do it fried. Yeah, like I, I've had it not fried and I, I know. Yeah, no. Yeah, it, it, it just has a very unusual texture for me that I don't think should belong to a vegetable. <laughs> yes, it is very odd. Like, my grandmother, when I was a kid, would boil it, and I will not eat it boiled. Uh-uh. It turns into a substance that nobody um, has no business eating. Brenda is a human encyclopedia. She is. It is very slimy and very um, snottish. I'm trying to be nice. Oh my, Brenda! She, I missed it. What did she say? <laughs> Her reference is so. <laughs> That's what it's like. It is very. Yes. It's very um, yuck. <laughs> uh -uh. Do you like a boil, Leah? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm even more turned off from okra. Like, uh, like just thinking yeah. about that. Like, uh, uh. Yeah, it is. I went snotty. I didn't go that way. Yeah. <laughs> I went snot route. That's not where we needed to go. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Brenda to come up with the analogies for us. Right. We're in trouble. <laughs> I love how grungy that turned out. Like It's like a red Ooh. and black. Yes. It kind of looks like that um, color that they use that's been discontinued Leah that you and I are looking for the um the ozo nickel ozo kawak how you know the golden color <laughs> that's discontinued cronacodone yeah I, I can't even say it right yeah, that, that's closer but that's not right You know, the quack. The quack, the quacker, no. The quack a lot. Oh, well, is, is that one of those um, golden paints? Yes, it's been discontinued because the golden component, they can't find or mind anymore. Um, oh. But it looks a lot like that color. So Robin McClendon says you mix um, red oxide, um, a, a red orange, yellow, a little bit of black, and you mix it together and it gets close to that color palette. I'm pretty sure that's the color she used. Oh my gosh, Brenda. Uh -oh. I I did not I did not need that like uh, mm -mm. Oh, 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 <laughs> ah, yeah right right yeah 
I did not need that Yay. image in my head. <laughs> Brenda, 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 what are we going to do with you? She needs an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Oh my gracious. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> oh. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Ugh. I got like the heebie jeebies just. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, I think that one is done. I like finishing pages off like patchwork central today. But my completed stacks are getting much better. You don't say, Brenda. <laughs> Just from the stories you tell, we can tell you're the very adventurous type growing up. <laughs> In the car, that is. <laughs> the back seat. That. Hello, Deb. How are you this morning? Good morning, Deb. I was just about to make a very bad joke. I, I think Brenda can take it. <laughs> um, I don't think Brenda gets offended by much. No. Uh, I think she's had more riding cars than uh, she's driven cars. Um. Yes. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> In the car, outside the car, on the car, <laughs> under the car. <laughs> and backwards on a motorcycle. Oh, that would have been interesting. Very. That would definitely be an adrenaline rush for sure. Well, Deb, you're going to have interesting listening. <laughs> Brenda is in rare form today. Which is not anything new, but you've been warned. <laughs> Ooh. I like how the edges came out on that uh, cleanup. Ooh, that is pretty. Beautifully grungy. Love it. Okay, now what? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Just making sure you're aware of what you're getting into today. <laughs> <laughs> my finger in my wheel. Oh. I don't know where to put I keep moving that towel. Oh. Messy fingers shows I had fun. That's right. I have messy fingers every Sunday. <laughs> Deb, are you doing anything fun today? Oh, interesting, Leah. Uh-oh. Sounds like an interesting time. Sounds like they were all of the leather sorts. I guess Leah provided the lace. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Leah. Sounds really good, Brenda. Oh, <laughs> a fork, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> well, I mean, some people eat it with a fork, others don't. Depends on how aggressive they want to eat their, like, food. Like, some people just, like, pick the whole thing up and just go. I love this cleanup page. I think I'm going to leave this as is. Oh, yes. Stand. That's fun. Yeah. What I color think is I'm the, gonna... light, the light color? It looks tan, but what color is that? Um... Like the bottom right corner or what? Over on your right. Like the the big part? Yeah. That's um that's yellow oxide. Okay. But like there's a little bit of red and stuff like still on the plate. So that like added some nice uh, little grungy bits in it. Okay. Very nice. I'm definitely setting that one aside. I love that one. I'm not adding any more to it. Mm -hmm. Emma, let's pick out a bright color. Let's go with a purple. We don't have purple in a lot of this. Oh. That's not what I wanted. Did I just completely miss that one? I did. Cool. I can do that. Mm -hmm. 
We'll do the smaller ones. That'll be fun. And <laughs> oh. Too funny, Leah. Just imagine you screaming when the the elevator opened. They were probably like, um, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that or they announced we have a screamer in the house. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, they probably called her out, but <laughs> just a weird day. Yep, yep. Mr. Casey, I have to go make a potty break. No worries. I'll be here. I'll keep them entertained. Or they'll keep me entertained, whichever. That's like the yeah. other way around. I mean, Brenda <laughs> is here. <laughs> well, it's Brenda or Leah. Like, Leah sounded like a good time. Do, 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 do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one. I think I'm gonna pull this one with probably unbleached titanium. And we'll do burnt sienna. And I don't have a paper ready. Go figure. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> like being in a fishbowl on display. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to try holding off on using that unbleached titanium because I got so many so many craft acrylic paints I just need to use up. Excuse me. In the crap. <laughs> Auto strikes again. <laughs> Oh well, not gonna worry about it. I forgot to let that purple dry before putting this down. Oh well, that'll make for an interesting background. Oh, wait a minute. It might have just came off the brayer. That's probably what happened. All right. Uh-oh. Deb joining in. Joining in the food conversation. Well, she, well, she did mention a little bit about the uh, hatchback experience. Hey. and I did some things back in our day, but that's, that's forever ago. Before cameras I've were I've never out, been the adventurous type to do anything like that. <laughs> really? I, I only recently, like, started doing things, like, within, like, the last year or two. I've never done anything before that. You will eventually do what is best for you, Casey, and that's okay. I've never um, been particularly interested in doing stuff, really. I'm going to throw in a little gold. I'll be right back. And okay. Make it the pit stop myself and double check my right okay? Yes. Sean's throwing our dinner in the crock pot.
Leah was a bad girl. She's got a bad streak to her. Chrysler, New Yorker, and a Nash Rambler. Okay. Interesting, Brenda. You do for sure, Brenda, to add different colors to these pages. I love these like patchwork pages. Um, I think I want a darker color in there. All right, let's find a dark color. Ooh, goulash. Yum. Yum. That's what Deb says is cooking in the crock pot. We are having smoked sausage, potatoes, green beans, and corn in the crock pot. Ooh. I need to figure out a bunch of crock pot recipes. Like... Because, like, from the sounds of it, like, it's, like, stupid easy. And all you have to do is wait for it to finish itself. And then it's ready to serve. Yes. Kind of like casseroles back in the day. Let's see how this turned out. Speaking of casseroles, I need to find my Dorito casserole and fix that for dinner one night. too happy with this one. I think I need to knock it back a little bit and then go back over with something else. Oh, I like it. Well, I feel like around the edges like it I feel like around the edges is like too much. It feels like too framed. Ah, I, I won't. I don't understand. Like not liking goulash. Who doesn't like goulash? Gary. Hmm. Is it like a texture thing, Brenda, or what is it? Like, do you know why he doesn't like goulash? Um, 
Oh, he hates tomatoes. Oh, uh, okay. well, that would do it. <laughs> but he loves lasagna. Huh? <laughs> I love lasagna. Lasagna is awesome. It is. So here's the big lasagna debate. Do you like it with the uh, cottage cheese or the, what is the cheese? Come like on, as, an as an alternate to cottage cheese? Yes. Um, oh, I don't know. I've only ever had it with cottage cheese. I cannot think of the name of the cheese. Oh, my goodness. It, is it still like oh, ricotta? Oh. Yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I've had it with ricotta before. Yes, that's like the original way to make it. Um, I, but I didn't know that. I've had it with both. I think both are very good. I think ricotta definitely has gives it more of a flavor profile comparatively. Like when I was growing up, I, it was only cottage cheese. Not until Sean and I moved out that I discovered... Oh, there's ricotta cheese. What's ricotta cheese? <laughs> and then did you try it? And it's like, well, I'll never go back to cottage cheese. Uh, no, because I still like, but like our cottage cheese, I blend it with um, garlic and Parmesan cheese and uh flavor it up and then put it in there. So oh, it's not okay. just cottage cheese going in. Gotcha. Italian seasoning. Oh, wow. Oh, that's birthday cake at your house. <laughs> Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Taylor. How are you? How's that? I should call it birthday cake. Gary gets on. Oh. <laughs> Brenda, you should make him the um, chocolate lasagna for his birthday. Good morning, Toby. Good morning, Toby. So Taylor and Toby, the debate or the topic is not debate. Do you use cottage cheese or ricotta cheese in your lasagna? Or do you even eat lasagna? Tent. Well, let's see what this does. All right. Ricotta is the winner of the day. Yeah, I can see ricotta being smoother, yeah. I got Hamilton stuck in my head. Hamilton? Yeah. Like the play? Yeah, the musical. 
Yes. Yeah. I got that stuck in my head. Um, well, I still have Caroline. <laughs> it, uh, the the song from Hamilton I have stuck in my head is the one where uh, uh, he's having uh, when he's having an affair. Okay. I can't. I can't. I don't know the names of any of the songs. I just know the songs. I don't know any of the titles of them, but and uh, that's the one that's stuck in my head. In. With. Yeah. Taylor, how is mom? I haven't seen her in a bit. Ooh, large stuffed shells with um, manicotta. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, I haven't done stuffed shells in forever. I love those. They're so yummy. They are, but I don't like when you get them out and they smother them with the tomato sauce. I'm like, can you just like put the, just a little tomato sauce? Yeah, just like a little dollop on it. Like you don't need to drown it. Yes, but every I want, time I, I want get to be able to out, taste everything inside the shell, and then you just drench it in it, and then it's just like it defeats the purpose. Yes. I'm like, thank you. I now do not know what I just ate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it's what I ordered. <laughs> yes. All I taste is tomato sauce. Thank you. <laughs> Having fun looking at these colors and completing a lot of these pages. It's rewarding. Right, Toby? Yeah, like, I mean, whenever I make stuff like that, like, it, like, I typically would make a bigger batch of any of it. And then, like, specifically, like, space it out for, like, lunches for work and everything. That's that's literally why I do like casseroles or spaghetti or fettuccine alfredo or anything like that. I always make a big pot of it and then uh, portion it out uh, for my lunches and everything. See if we can light some. If you need it. Well, tell Mama I said hello. I keep missing her. She wasn't able to come in the other day. Which is really weird. But we are talking internet. Because Deanna Grooms couldn't come in either the next day. I got that on high. Okay. Keep it on lower high. You can keep it on high for now. Thank you. Hmm. Where's uh, Diana when I'm being nice to him? For now. <laughs> I have witnesses. I was nice to him. <laughs> we'll see how long this trend lasts. <laughs> she would not believe you. She'll she would think you all were just lying for me. 
right? Toby, uh, are you are you talking about uh, Lindy's color or my color? Good morning, Miss Cat. How are you? I feel like I haven't heard from you in a while. Yes. How's everything going? Good. Oh, thank you. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, Toby was talking about your color. Yeah. Hello. Come on. Bernadine Green. Viridian Green. Viridian. Thank you. Yep. Viridian. That's the color I painted my body when I did uh, the Twi'lek costume. The which one? The uh, Twi'lek uh, Star Wars. Some okay. People, some people say Twi'lek. Good morning, Judy. Hello, Miss Judy. So, Toby, I'm... <laughs> Just Leah. playing, trying to finish up some pages. So I'm just playing with different colors and filling in spots to finish up. Um, I'm trying to make two-sided papers to put in journals. Hey, guys, I'm actually using pink today. <gasps> You're using pink? Yay. Yeah. Well, like I was thinking it was more red, but it's coming out more pink. Um, Razzleberry. It's an Americana craft, uh, acrylic paint. I'm loving it. So I'm trying to do like uh, warm colors in the red family right now. And then I'm going to uh, pull it with blues. I keep moving my towel and then burying it under something. I swear I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, Aren't we all? <laughs> okay, now let's do this tomato red. Ah. Big pink goober. Good, Leah. I'm glad you're having a better morning. Okay, now I need to figure out what I'm going to Oh, no. Yeah, father. Well, we could do this guy. Let's, let's do those. Mm -hmm. 
Small corner there. Oh, that came up That's good. Um, let's do. Good morning, Elisa. Hello, Elisa. He goes in Jesus. May. Yeah. Bye, Toby. Enjoy church today. Bye, Toby. You have a good morning. is getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a nice. I like that pool. Ooh, I love that. That's so fun. Yes. Thank 
you, Leah. It is, as you have heard, I'm just planning to get stuff pulled and pages completed to cut up, put in journals, whatever we're going to do. Taylor, are you dying more papers? Where did I put that? Oh, in front of your face, Casey. Casey's making some amazing prints today. I don't see amazing in your contacts. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a random. Oh, what that was about. I didn't find amazing in your contacts, okay? I'm like, um, Apparently, you don't have anyone amazing in your phone. I guess not. I'm trying to give someone a compliment and get shut down by. I'll be nice. <laughs> I was going to refer to her as the name I normally do, but I'll be nice. So it's pulling anything up. Ooh, I like that pull too. That's with the gold. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let that one dry. This one can come back over. Ooh. And we're going to go with some blue now. Ah. Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh. E. So I just discovered something purely by accident. Uh oh. <laughs> no, Is it a good it, thing? It, it's, it, it's a good thing. Okay. So I have like my stencil things down, but I'm using my stamp to pull some like. Oh, hang on. Let me put it on you so you can show us what you're doing. I wish I could zoom in. Maybe. <laughs> so we like new discoveries. So I don't know if you can see it up here. Well, let me turn off the light to see if that'll help. Oh, kind of. You can kind of see it here. Um, so I stenciled all these down and then I'm using the stamp and then I'm just like putting on there, holding it there for a few seconds and I'm pulling it up. And I'm, pulls out that negative space or whatever. I don't know the proper term for it, but it leaves an impression, an open impression of the stamp. 
Oh. So, yeah. So, like, I'm wondering how that's going to turn out when I do my um, pole color. I'm thinking, like, it's kind of like those words and it, the script and everything's going to come through those stencils. <sighs> That's going to be so much fun. And I got it in like random parts here. And what I was initially trying to do was stamp in black paint. But instead I started like pulling away on some of the stencil, the stencil bits. So I'm just like, that'll work too. I guess I'm liking this. So I'm actually going to be doing uh, my poll here in a moment. Um, you can go ahead and switch back. I, oh, I got, well, I, I'm not doing oh, yeah. anything exciting. So, okay. If you say I'm just so. putting down colors and pulling still. But I've got a lot of papers done. Because all I'm going to be doing is putting down my pull colors. Just putting down a, like three different shades of like blue. all this other paint is dry. The last paint I put down was that orange. So Bless you. All right. I wish my jelly plate would stay square. Yes, that would be lovely. Unfortunately, that's not the nature of a jelly plate, so. Would be fun, Taylor. Do some eco prints with some rust. Ooh, very nice. She said it's been fairly warm out there. Yes, we are, Michael. I'm in line for some of those, Taylor. Of course, we're having fun, Michael. We're Painting and making a mess. We're not adulting rust at this moment. Is, I really want to do some rusty papers at some point. I think that would be so much fun. I need, I need to do like a rust bath session. I feel like I need to get some more like old like um, metal things. So I can just like 
do like a whole pan of it. That would be so nice. Okay, while that is setting, I'm going to clear off my palette here. Uh oh, good deal, Miss Cat. So, did you dye papers or did you dye something else, Miss Cat? Do tell, do tell. Yes, please do tell. Oh, yeah. Yes, Miss Cat. Don't throw those away. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Papers right now. I'm going to do some watercolor sheets this evening. Ooh, that'll be fun. Oh, very nice. I know Taylor's got some fabric to dye, too. Hint, hint, Taylor. Plenty dry by now. Until this turned out. Mm, I probably should not have done that Prussian blue. Probably should have kept it light. But it's still fun. I think if I would have kept it light, it would have popped a lot more, but. Oh, Miss Cat. Yum. This is alchemy papers. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, Miss Taylor. Alchemy papers, like. Like, what is it? Uh, is it Stamperia? Or what? I can't remember what brand. That has that uh, alchemy. Uh, I think it um, is line. Stamperia, isn't it? I, th I thought so. Like with Vegabond and everything? Yeah. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can find a good spot where it's showing the text. You can probably see like up here. See how it pulled that uh, text out of the stencil there? A little focus. Okay. Yeah, so that's what, like, I was trying to, like, it shows through on some of these, but, yeah, I definitely shouldn't have had that Prussian blue, but I still like it, because if I, if I hadn't added that Prussian blue, I feel like they would have popped a lot more out of there. 
Thank you, Leah. Thank you, Taylor. And thank you, Miss Cat. You can open it back up to the both of us. Okay. This cat's killing me with this paper find that she found. Right. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to have so much like when I come home from my retreat. Because uh, I've been getting a lot of stuff from uh, Mary Ann like during like sales and everything. And to save on shipping and everything, she's just holding it there. And and then we'll just like take it home with us. Okay. So like, I don't even remember half of what I bought. So I, I feel like I'm going to have like two full boxes of things. You're going to have to take a whole suitcase with you to bring this stuff back. Well, okay, so with the way the prices were all, like, looking, um, um, to, like, fly out there and fly back, even though it says round trip was, like, this much per person. Yes. Uh, they said for the flight back, you have to pay this much per person. But I'm just like, the, the first one said round trip. Yeah. So, so, like, it doesn't make sense. So, like, the way it added up, it would have been, uh, let's see, like, close to $1,000 a piece. Wow. Like, but, and that's, at, that's adding in, uh, each one had a connecting flight, so it was ten dollars per seat each time. So it would have been like forty extra, at least forty extra dollars for either one of us wow. for the whole trip. So like, so pay for the cost to get out there. Plus twenty dollars a piece. Pay for the cost to get back. Plus twenty dollars a piece extra. So like, yeah, it was like a thousand dollars just. And then like, that's not even like checking in bags or anything. So it's just like, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was going to be like around two thousand ish dollars just for the trip. Besides what we're already paying for the retreat to begin with. So it's just like, it's going to be a lot more cost efficient just to drive out there. Yes. Like, it was ridiculous. That's why we drive to Florida, because five people to fly was way more expensive than us driving. Yeah, I've never had to deal with it, like, being that expensive. Like, even going out to Vegas. Like, wasn't that expensive. Like, and, and I had, like, made multiple trips out to Vegas or even Portland, Oregon. And it was never that expensive. Just going to Utah, like, is, like, hella expensive. Oh, it's behind me. Like, and as far as I know, Utah is not, like, a tourist destination where, like, Vegas is. Right. Like, going on a weekend to Vegas is, like, cheaper than going in the middle of the week to Utah. So, like, which doesn't make sense because usually flights are a lot cheaper in the middle of the week than they are at the end of the week. Right. So, yeah, it, that just blew my mind. I'm just like, this is stupid. 
like rule of thumb is you buy your airplane tickets on Tuesdays. Yeah, or like yeah, book them on uh, Tuesdays or something. Yes. All right, my dryer just went off. I'll be right back. Okay. What? Let's do reverse now. Let's do blues for design and then pull with a warm. <laughs> Yeah, Michael, that's crazy because we were going to fly to Florida and for five of us round trip and I was even going to drive two hours to Louisville to for cheaper flights and it was still over $5,700. Yeah. I was like, no, we'll just drive. Plus, like, with driving, like, you can have more of an experience, like, memories and stuff like that when you drive. Because you you can sightsee and all that. I mean, granted, it is, like, tiring and all that. Like, having to do the whole trip and everything. But it's actually an adventure. Yes, it was an adventure, a long adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a 13-hour um, drive. Yeah, and that's what that's what ours is going to be. It, it, uh, the estimate is like between 12 and 14 hours. So we're... Uh, so we're going to leave at like about five ish in the morning Uh huh. to be able to get there by around the same time in the evening. Yes. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, Judy, it's just really, really odd because they're talking about, you know, more people are traveling now. And I'm like, how are they flying? Yeah, that's why I'm wondering. It's like, I, like, I know a lot of people have, like, said, that like it's cheaper to fly than it is to drive. And I was like, I think it's more time efficient to fly. It's not more cost efficient by any means. No. So that's why I'm confused, like how people get that backwards. I think people want 
I get like wanting to spend more time out there. Like, so that's why they fly. So they definitely pay for the convenience of it. But like, it's definitely not more cost efficient by any means to fly. Have the cruises gone up too? Because we were looking at uh, wanting to do a cruise next year, but maybe we won't. And then, Judy, have you seen the people that that retire? And then they live on cruise ships. I'm like, I've oh. seen stuff like that. How can you afford that? <laughs> yes. I'm like, oh, that sounds so fun. But then I'm like, okay, hang on. How are you doing this on a yearly, on a yearly thing for years on out? How, how are you not running out of money? Yeah, that, that baffles me. It's like, I, I've never been on a cruise, but I think it would be fun to do. But I'm just like, wait a minute. How is this even possible? Like, Yeah. They said it's cheaper than going into a nursing home. And I'm like, um. I mean, yeah, that's what I heard, too. Like, it, it's like. I'm like, I it, need somebody to explain this to me where I can understand because I'm kind of baffled. And please show me how to do it, because. Okay, see, that's what I thought. I'm like, um, are we talking like normal people? Or are we talking like people that um, have run have more companies money? and stuff? Yeah, because. Like, if they've owned a business or ran a company or something, like. I can see them like doing stuff like that for like the rest of their retired living or whatever. But any of us normal folk like yeah, that work nine to five jobs and still are like lucky enough to like be able to afford anything, like there's no way. That's not a thing. All right, so I think everybody in my neighborhood have has decided to cut grass. Oh, yeah? Three of my neighbors are outside cutting their grass. So if you hear it and it becomes too much, let me know when I can leave Casey to you guys. <laughs> like, really, people? I can't hear anything. Okay. Like my next door neighbor and my two neighbors across the street are all out cutting grass. I mean, might as well while everybody's at church or out to lunch. Let Medicare pay for a cruise ship. Can you let Medicare pay for it? Because, I mean, if you can, sign me up. See, our, our grass currently is barely, like, acknowledging it's around springtime at the moment. Half of it's still, like, dormant. <laughs> at least ours is. Like, the, the rest of our neighbors, like, some of theirs is, like, fairly green already. I'm like, well, I guess our grass decided it wanted to sleep in this year. I mean, if we can find a way, would that not be the funnest thing ever? Like retire and live on a cruise ship with crafting friends. Oh, oh. my gosh. That would be the ultimate craft retreat. Like, you're... but yeah. can you imagine like hauling all those supplies around? 
I know. They would be like, uh, ma'am, do you have clothes? No, I have crafts. Um, I'm just going to wear the same two outfits. <laughs> when, when we... When we make port, I'll just wash him in the in the uh, lake or whatever. Yeah, aren't moon or in the ocean, and then we'll be fine. <laughs> I'll I'll hang him out to dry. I'll hang him out to dry uh, outside of my room. It's fine. <laughs> yes. Um. Let me check. I know we hit like the eighties yesterday. Yeah, craft supplies and moo moos. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine. Uh, currently, we're 77. And the high is supposed to be 88 today. Okay. I don't know. What is. Time to break out the sprinklers. I probably probably should have done that earlier this morning to water the grass before, like the sun started coming up. Yeah, because now I think it would burn up your grass. Yeah, it, it'll definitely fry it. And I don't know if we've been put on water restrictions as of yet. It is 81 here right now, and the oh, high gracious. is supposed to be 83. It's already 81 for you guys right now? Yes. Wow. Ooh, I like the blue. That's a nice blue. I like that blue. That's a nice blue. Ooh, that is a pretty blue. Right there. Uh-huh. What color blue was that? Um, it's just light blue, permanent. Okay. If it'll focus. Let me turn off the light. Judy, it's 88 there? No, for us. Oh. Focus. There we go. Okay, kind of. Light permanent blue. All right. Yeah, yeah it's the it's the master touch. Chiquita's up. Good morning, Chiquita. Good morning, Chiquita. Chiquita. I'm thinking the same thing, Taylor. It's it's too soon for 80s. Like, yeah, I can just imagine what this summer is going to actually be like if it's uh, already in the 80s. Yes. Yeah, it's and we've we've already been on. Uh, uh, what's uh, fire warnings already? Wow! With how with how dry it's been and how windy it's been, uh, yeah. Uh, brush fire warnings, I think, is what it was called. I can never remember. One of those warnings, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm do a double one now. The cool toys are here. <laughs> Yes. 
I'd rather be cold than hot. At least then you can put on clothes. See, that's okay. what I always referenced uh, to. It's like you could always put on more clothes, like if you're cold. But uh, yeah. if, if you're hot, you can only take off so much clothes before uh, you uh, get in trouble. Right? <laughs> Oh, Before what time is Jelly Bean selling? Is Jelly Bean selling today? This is is she going on soon? Um, I didn't... Well, I've been on here, so I probably didn't get notices. I have them turned off while I'm on. Judy, I agree. That's perfect spring day right there. 68. Oh. Uh, just as, just as long as there's not a breeze. And that that would uh, call it for me though. Like I, when it's like the perfect temperature outside. We always get, it always like gets killed by the uh, wind. And it's just like, well, it would have been fantastic if it, it wasn't windy today. Right. But I've just accepted that as like a Nebraska thing. Like whenever, whenever it's nice out, it has to be windy to ruin it. But then again, when it's like really hot, you really wish it was windy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can we get a breeze, please? <laughs> Anything. J just some slight air conditioning, please. J j j someone, someone turn on the natural fan real quick. Yeah, but I, I imagine it's going to be like, I have a feeling we're going to hit like hundreds this year. Oh, I don't want hundreds. Already. Yeah, that, that's the way it's already looking. A deep turquoise. Let's do that one. Uh, okay. Sounds like it's going to be, uh, she's going to be on in about two hours or an hour and a half. Okay. So. Which yeah. is about fine because that's when we usually get off anyways. Yeah, we'll be ending in about 20 minutes and we'll send y'all that way while y'all get a break. Potty, eat. I'm going to throw my dishes in the dishwasher. I've been letting them soak uh, this morning. Okay. I don't know which. Throw another color on that one. Oh, could look somewhere warm for winter. Colder for the sun. <laughs> right, Taylor. See, like, I don't mind uh, summers out in Vegas. Because like it can be like a hundred and like ten twenty degrees, but it feels like Nebraska's like seventy two. Like it, it's weird. Yeah, like I agree with Taylor. Like when I start walking out my door and you can't breathe because it's so hot and you instantly are sticky when you're going to work. I would yes. rather get that. yes 
Take mm -hmm. me somewhere I can't stand that. cold. Like every summer I'm like, babe, let's move to Alaska. I'm not even to Alaska. I'm like, but I'm sweating. <laughs> but I'm sweating. <laughs> yes, I'm like, I can't. See, like, I, I don't know if I could, like, move to a place that's completely cold or consistently cold like that. Uh, I mean, after, a, like, from the sounds of it, like, after a while, you, your, like, blood and body, like, adapts to that weather. Mm -hmm. Just, like, moving to Florida and stuff like that, like, your body, like, adapts to that. Oh, so, like, I could probably do it like after I've been there a while but our Nebraska is already all over the place when it comes to temperatures because like we can get to like negative 30s here and then we can get as high as like 130s so wow. So we have a pretty broad range of temperatures here. Michael, are you work are you working today? I mean, that's fair, especially if you're going in. So, my, well, I'll, I'll message you later. I've never been to Palm Springs. I've been to California once. Uh but it was like very brief. It was like for a day or two. Like when I went uh, to uh, Disney. Michael, well, Michael I'm only actually keeping... might be. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, am I only keeping him till noon? <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. Well, Michael, well, it might be sooner rather than later because I got that one furniture piece for the craft room. So uh, Jacob was like, well, that takes care of like what we were planning on doing today. So because we, uh, my roommate and I, we were going to go thrifting today. Uh, to get furniture for our uh, communal craft room for like hosting uh, crafty days with friends and stuff. So we were going to go uh, find some furniture for the crafting room. And I ended up coming home from Hobby Lobby with a uh, with a uh, shelving unit or whatever. Because uh, they redid the craft department. And the 
the tower shelves that they usually keep the stained glass in, they were getting rid of one of them. Oh. And it's perfect for paper storage and we can take out shelves so we can potentially put like other art supplies in it or tools in it. So uh, Jacob was like, well, that, that took care of our uh, shopping for tomorrow. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Free time. <laughs> Yeah, Michael. So yeah, so no, so no spoons. He already did his peopling yesterday. Uh, he already did his human adventure yesterday. Uh, doing the going to the birthday party, and then on top of that, our um, thrifting excursion we were supposed to do today. So, yeah. Good morning, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Welcome. Sunny Wisconsin. Hello, Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> so I always think of the, that 70 right. show every time I hear. Right. Sorry, I'm sure you don't like that, Sherry. I know, isn't it, Sherry? I love these blues are awesome. Well, I, I well, I guess not, Michael, because you're you're busy with peppers today. Yeah. So, huh? Me and Casey's gonna hang longer. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have I have so much to do today. All right. Well, I mean, I'll still have to finish, like, what chores I'm doing around the house regardless, but, yeah. Yeah. But luckily, I'm, like, having, like, most of it done while I'm crafting, so that'll help. Let me step away for a moment. Okay. Oh, yes, Taylor. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then they only have to ship craft supplies to one address. <laughs> we'll be crafting all the time. And then I'll have kiddos around. Sherry's in, too. I've been a very rewarding day for sure. I'm getting a lot accomplished. All right, I'm back. Well, well Michael, at least now you have an incentive to hurry up with your puppers. Yep. Don't take any breaks. Get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> He won't be long. Okay. Now I'm going to do the pull layer. And I'm going to use my burnt sienna and red oxide for this. So oh, kind of like right. a terracotta and then like my uh, reddish brown. This should be fine. Ooh. Excited. Yummy. Well, it should make these blues like really pop. Is it? Really it should cool. give like kind of that like patina look to it, like rust and patina. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Hoping, hoping.
Woo! Mom just messaged me about my journal. Yes! So there's four people bidding on it. It went for $110. Very nice. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations. That's fantastic. That's a lot. I wasn't expecting too much of an interest to go into that. Like, because I, I wasn't, mainly because I didn't know how. They were going to I didn't know if it. anyone would. Yeah, exactly. How people would know what to do with it or how to work with it or anything like that. So I'm just like, it's probably not going to go for much. And it's probably only going to be like one or two people. Yes. It was a faith journal. The, those who saw the flip through like, uh, uh, the other day. Who did? I'm, I'm so excited. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yay. I'm excited for you. I'm just glad they're uh, they're able to raise that money for the students for missions, like to go to, on missions and everything. That's that just makes me happy. Like just knowing, like like gifting that to the auction raised that much money for them. Like that's that's fantastic. That's very exciting. I, I, I'm wondering how much my brother's art went for. Oh. Cause, yeah, because he did a, what is it? Uh, a three-piece canvas set that, um, that was scripture inspired. So I wonder how much his, his is going for. Oh, you will have to let us know. Because like I've mentioned, he does more urban, like, graffiti-type artwork. So, but he, he's had, he made that, uh, that series, like, a while ago. So, like, I'm glad he could actually donate it to a cause like this. Because he, um... He has like the scripture written on the back of the canvas, like the underside. So like it went, so you have the art on the front, you flip it over and like the scripture is written out on the back on what, uh, what the inspiration was. And I can't remember what the, the verse was about, but yeah. So him and I both donated to uh, the fundraiser. Good deal. Yes, Sherry. Uh, we both are. Chris got more into the arts uh, earlier on than I did. Um, back in... Uh, I want to say late elementary school. He was in. Oh no. He was inspired by um, one of uh, the employees at the skating rink who did graffiti and stuff. And he's been growing in that ever since. And then I didn't really get into it until after high school. Because I think my first, uh, my first creative uh, venture was jewelry. Yeah. My first creative venture was jewelry. And that was like a year or two out of high school, maybe. And look at you now. 
flourished. Okay, I think I put way too much paint on because, I mean, it's it didn't pull like any of the blue. I mean, it pulled some around the edge. But like it, it definitely pulled impressions. Like, you can see some of the impressions on there, but yeah, I put too much paint down because it didn't pull up what all is on the plate yet. So. I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm gonna. I think I'm. Gonna, I think that's actually going to still bring in a lot of character, since it didn't pull like any of the blue up. So yeah, I'm gonna let that completely dry, and then I'm gonna pull it up with unbleached titanium instead. Um, there, there, there's my pan fan. I'm trying to see how dry this is, but like all my fingers are gross, so I can't tell if I'm pulling anything up on them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some of mine came off when I washed my hands, but it's back. <laughs> right. I didn't even think I put that much paint down, though. That's, like, what baffles me. I'm just like, I put about as much down as I usually do. So, like, maybe I was just too impatient on pulling it up. But, like, with how much was left over and how much came up on that paper, I definitely put too much on. Hmm. Bye, Wendy. Have a nice day. You guys, Wendy will be on with me um, this coming Saturday at 12 Central Time, 12 noon. And we are going to play with our Switch Plus, um, Tim Holtz machine. We're going to emboss and stamp and just... Have a swell of time playing with our stuff. So wait, so the switch is like a version of the Vagabond. Oh wait, that's yeah. right. That that's that's uh his updated version and it's in his like uh black style, right? Yes. Okay, because it's an automatic, you don't have to crank it or nothing. Right. Okay. Yeah, I remember him presenting that because he had like two different versions, like a mini and then the uh, full thing. Yes. Okay. Took me a moment to put all that together. <laughs> but you got it. You yep. got it. Hey, collecting brain cells today. <laughs> it has been a weird day, Casey. Very, very weird. Well, I remember last Sunday, like... I had my phone in front of me the whole time. I kept misplacing it. Yes. Even though it was right there every single time. <laughs> yes. Like everything I wanted was like literally in front of my face, like right there. And it was just like, I don't know where my brain is today. Like I really don't. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh my word. I'm glad I had nothing important to do that day because, oh, my word. Oh, well, that was the first day of getting your room together. 
Oh yeah, because I I was uh, trying to move everything out of my room to get everything reorganized and all that, and then I was also trying to hurry up and get that faith journal done. Like yeah. I had like my my brain was literally everywhere trying to like I had so many like random time crunches I was trying to get with. And my craft room didn't get too much further. And if anything, it fell into an even bigger mess. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my God. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> well, all my purchases and everything are still outside of my craft room in my office area. I still haven't, like, uh, created a home for them yet. And I just got those halls in that I just did a video on earlier this uh, weekend. So, like, there's that. And they still need a home. <laughs> yep. I will be doing some of that today. I have to invoice. Um... Yeah, so it's going to be a busy afternoon and get things ready for work tomorrow. Without my sidekick, I forgot she was off tomorrow. Great, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> No one to gas out tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Now I have to do it all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> She's probably already gone. Sherry, I work for the Department of Veterans Affairs Monday through Friday. Yep, she works for the VA. It's one of those jobs where you're like, oh, yes, yes, you're all eager to get in and think you're going to help make a difference, and then you find out you don't. You know. Oof. Mm-hmm. That was a big oof right there. Yeah. And then, no. But what are you going to do? I can't. <sighs> I mean, you probably make better money than me, though. It is good money, um, which is a plus. Med good medical benefits and everything? Um. Health benefits are okay. My son actually and my sister have better health benefits than I do. Um, but really, I get to keep my health insurance when I retire. Oh, okay. So that's a good benefit. Um, but not necessarily the insurance. There's better health insurance out there. Um, but we got health insurance and my husband's got to have it because for some reason he thinks he has to keep having heart attacks. There we go. Oh, maybe. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, Brenda, I um, work there and I don't understand it myself. So, um, 
Yeah, Sherry, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I was excited to go there and then not so much. But maybe one day, maybe somebody will listen to everybody's suggestions one day. That's what my son keeps telling me. Rome was not built in the night, Mom. Yeah, but we've already had a few centuries and still. <laughs> like, um. Well, this turned out pretty cool. I hope I turned off the wrong one. But, Sherry, on the other hand, there are lots of services there that I am thankful are there for the patients. That's. That's what keeps you going in. There, there are lots of good things there. So if you have a loved one, make sure that if they qualify for the VA, you get them in there because it does pay off. I just wish we could do a lot more. My current now deceased father-in-law got benefits. The yin yang, and he never made it past the boot camp and was discharged for medical hearing. Oh, I wonder if that was is a gender thing. It shouldn't. Be. Um, it might be a financial thing. Um, they do go by income. There's lots of factors that go in to their services that I don't have all the information to. Sherry, do you work out of the home? Just the nail Dremel, and he is done. Are you done for the day, Michael? Okay.
Sounds better than the uh, pupper baths uh, he had to do like the last couple days. Oh. Like de shed like baths and everything. Because yeah. there, there was one dog that took like, I think he said like four or five hours because the dog was so matted and everything. Wow. Yeah. Like it was like bad. I think I think it was a husky as well. Oh. Poor thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's a couple that uh, he had to do. Like each one took a couple hours a piece. But, like, that's just one of those things, like, like, it just shows, like, that some of these pet parents only, like, take care of their dogs when it comes to brushing or bathing when they take them in. They don't do any of it at home. So, the dogs, like, suffer until, like, they bring, they get brought in. Poor things. See, and that's, I work, so I would never get a dog that I had to have high maintenance because I'm not home. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, then, yeah, your pet just suffers, like, and it's sad because, like, and that's one reason why I never, like, got a dog, like, being a single person and everything because, like, I worked, and still do like majority of every day of the week. So like, and I'm only home to like maybe eat, but mostly just sleep. And then I'm gone again. Like, yeah. so it, it just wouldn't be fair to get a pet and to not be able to take care of it. But like, that's one reason why I'm glad I have a roommate that happens to have pets. So I still get the the benefits of like uh emotional relief when i come home and get to see their happy fluffy faces and get the cuddles and everything yes sir they make life so much easier and better mm -hmm. just makes you forget about your worries and everything are we talking about you poppin Huh? Yeah. Mama loves you too. No. <laughs> She's like, Mama, I heard you talking about me, so I'm here. What do you want? That actually left a lot behind. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm trying to clean up this. This jelly plate, but it keeps leaving everything behind. Yeah, and I'm just like going to town, getting these pages done. I'm like, yes, my, my stack is so much smaller. So I might have to... Carve out time and maybe do a, a pile folder journal series or something if I can find time. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that will be like my next like jelly plating thing because I have so many like file folders. Yeah. Like, like, and a lot of them are hanging file folders. I've uh, cut off the hangers. 
Yeah. I think I might, I think I might have thrown away the hangers, but um, but like I I need to use them or lose them. Like. Yep. That's. I was like, hey, I'm just gonna gonna jelly plate these and I've got all these papers that I just need to jelly plate on both sides and put them in a journal and you can cover them up whatever you want to do so Oh, hello, Deanna. Hello, Deanna. You're joining in towards the tail end. We're about to hop off here in a moment. Yes, but... You'll have to watch the replay. There, there's a lot of fun things we did and a lot of interesting conversation. Of course. As per usual, as you expect on a Sunday from us and from uh, Brenda. Yes. I'm like, there's never a dull mo moment with Leah and Brenda. So let me get these on the plate. Oh, I got just one spot there. And then I got to show you what I got in the mail. Because it's another project, but it's going to be a fun project. <laughs> Brenda, with your experience, I'm pretty sure you've had uh, quite a few bites in your past. I'm sure you're covered. I don't think you need anybody else to. <laughs> <laughs> what is she going on about? Well, because we're call we're calling her out on uh, our conversations today, and she was like, "Bite me." <laughs> <laughs> what was so it they said in Greece? Experiences. I think you're good. <laughs> She said, bite me, and he said, he said, I don't do sloppy seconds or something. Is that what he said? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to have to watch Grease, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brenda, we love you. Oh, yes, we do. Never a dull moment with you, and we appreciate it very much. <laughs> and for you that do not know Brenda, it's all in fun. We don't mean any, we never say anything to hurt anybody's feelings. Whatever feelings she may or may not still have. Yeah. <laughs> She's lost feeling in her legs and her back a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brenda, that was that was a little harsh. <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> I haven't mentioned her knees. Oh, that's right. Her knees. I'm surprised she can still walk. <laughs> okay, so my good friend oh my Deanna. Gosh. We're terrible. We are. Miss Deanna um, shared a video with me <laughs> yeah. using these butterflies. I think it was further than R rated, Brenda. I'm pretty sure it's X rated. <laughs> and UV resin. And then I got me some Q tips too, Deanna. Um, and then you. Um, Turn these butterflies into resin pieces that you can decorate with. So, Deanna sent me a few, um, a few packs, a few packs of butterflies, just a few. <laughs> and then, in this pretty little cow bag, which I absolutely love. I have a 
120 punched out butterflies from Deanna. So I'm going to be making butterflies. Oh, speaking of butterflies, did anybody get a chance to go over to uh, Hobby Lobby to get any of their clearance butterflies from the fairy garden section and floral? What was it? Um, in uh, in the uh, fairy garden section and floral at Hobby Lobby, they clearanced a lot of their butterflies. Oh, I, I did, did not I did make a, it fair. I did a Hobby Lobby uh, haul video about it. Oh, I did not. Darn it. Okay, Taylor, what are resin shakers? Are they like... Do you like make a resin shape and then put? Right, Brenda. Leah gets half the credit. <laughs> yes, Leah does it, get half the credit. It's especially with the uh, nine uh, gay motorcyclists in the elevator. Yes, and her screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Contacts for that one. Right. Add a add a comment to this meme. <laughs> oh oh my goodness! Women. Oh, there she is. <laughs> her ears were burning. Oh yeah, and her hatchback. Oh, Taylor, I'm going to have to look that up and see. So this is going to be a probably a Saturday um, play with Deanna here so she can yell at me in the chat when I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> so... Deanna, I did start buying my product, so Sean's got a light. He's trying to find it. I want to, like, figure out the whole um, using resin as glue. Like, uh, oh, what's his name? Brenda knows him. I always forget his name. Uh. Mike Deacon's partner. When he was doing uh, steampunk stuff. I can't think of his name. Brenda, you know his name. Miss Deanna, do you need some of these little Q-tip things for your resin? If you do, let me know. I'll throw them in your Ian, box. That's it. Ian. Ian, okay. Yeah, he 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 used like a resin or epoxy or whatever, and he just used like a light, like the whole like UV resin okay. stuff, and then he used that to like glue everything together. I'm just like, oh, never would have thought of using that for a glue or whatever, but that stuff like is pretty solid, like it it won't be going anywhere. So I, I need I need to figure out like what product he used exactly to like try that out for my uh, mixed media pieces. Because if that's going to be faster than using like matte gel medium and stuff like that, then heck yeah. Oh, Deanna says that's easy, Casey, and she is pretty crafty. Deanna is amazing. She sends me links and things all the time, and I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do that. Because <laughs> I think he has it in like one of those like two way like tube things where like it like it has like two vials like right next to each other, but like and then they converge like out like the tip of the syringe or whatever. 
or something like that. Oh, interesting, Rainbow. Oh, very cool. You use UV setting nail polish? Interesting. Oh, we're, we're about to end, like, shortly after, like, I think after Lindy does her polls there, I think, right? Yep, I think so. I'm just getting my plate cleaned off and finishing up a few papers. Yes, yes, yes. So wait, epoxy and resin are not the same thing, right? Or are they? I thought they were. Um... Well, there's epoxy resin and then there's UV rate, uh, resin. So the UV resin is already mixed where the epoxy resin, you have to mix. The you have to do the parts. two parts. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh-oh. Did you have a rough day, Michael? All right, ladies, I think we are going to say goodbye. Casey's got things to do. I've got things to do. I'm going to invoice today. Um, start invoicing because I didn't do it yesterday. And then finish up during the week, of course, like we always do. Um... You're welcome, Deanna. See, I pay attention when Sean's doing his things and, and Deanna telling me about UV resin. I'm like, oh, Sean uses that on his ink pens. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't have a clue about any of that. Like, I, I want to try some of it at some point to see how it, like, works in some of the stuff I already do. Yes. Because I just need one more thing, right? <laughs> That's exactly what we need. Although, like, my things keep adding up. <laughs> right. And then exactly. my husband decided he wanted to do this project. And I'm like, oh, dear gravy. Because that means not only do I have to buy more stuff, then I also have to learn how to do that so I can help him. Right. <laughs> and then on top of that, I ordered my 16 by 30, I think, pan. It came in, so I'm going to make my own jelly plate. Taylor, I did finish my ATC, but I keep forgetting to go in. Like, I don't know how, how do I find out who I'm supposed to mail it to and get. Right, Brenda, and find a new address. place to store it all. <laughs> did you finish yours and mail it? Because we have six days to mail it off. And I'm like, um. And I'm. I've joined all of these craft groups and I'm like, I don't know which craft group I'm in. Who's doing this project? Who's doing that project? Oh my gosh. This sprayer is super easy to clean. Is it? How did you what? take this off? So. Yeah. So you basically take it off how like, Tim Holtz like showed uh, you take off, take apart his, like all you do. So you got like the little feet here. Yeah. Just push on one of the feet and it just like pops right off. 
And then oh. these and then these guys aren't even like glued in here or anything. I just took a baby wipe and wipe wiped it down. Mine doesn't have those feet. Oh, but but yours are probably just like little like teeth that go into it. So you could probably just pull one of the teeth to the side. Is your handle oh. pretty flexible or no? No, it's not flexible at all. Uh-uh. Oh. No, so it your, doesn't move. So yours is actually secure. Okay, never mind then on yours. Yeah, because I'm like, I want to clean that down in there. But it doesn't come off. The only thing I can suggest is just like, have like a dish of like soapy water or whatever and just like just soak the thing uh brayer down in it so i mean like you don't yeah. have to worry about like yours like getting extra textures or anything on it do you like that you don't want it? no no then i probably wouldn't even worry about cleaning it too much not unless you start uh, getting built up that you don't want on it. Yeah, I just pick the sides off so it doesn't build up on the side too much. And then I leave it. Yeah. Yeah, if you roll up the sides, that leaves nice, like, little uh, grungy edges, like when you brayer it out. Oh, then maybe I should start leaving it. I've been picking it off after every. <laughs> well, I mean, you can pick. See, like what I was doing was I was like taking my thumb and rolling it over, like towards the center of the brayer, and then like you'll leave like a grungy edge around the edges of the brayer. Okay. You know what I mean. Okay, Taylor. Well, that makes me feel better because she hasn't reached out to me either. So there's that. So like, like it, oh. if you if you peel it in towards the center, you get like grungy edges like this. Okay. That could be fun, like uh, creating texture on your jelly plate. Very nice. So. All I right, don't use this big brayer very often because, like, the paint just stays sticky on it. And I don't know why. I'm going to just cover my plate up because I'm going to leave it set here for a little while. Um, Jelly Bean is selling today. Um, what time did we determine? I think it's in a half an hour now. Okay. So... Casey and I are going to say goodbye so we can take a break and get some stuff done and yep, yep. And hopefully we will see you at Jelly Beans. Yep. I may hop over there for a little bit, but that'll be just while I'm finished uh, working on the rest of my chores before I get together with Michael. So. Yes. But I, I don't think I'll be over there too terribly long myself. But. All right. You guys have a great day. Thank you for coming in, supporting us like you always do. Yes. Good Sunday mornings everyone. are amazing. I love Sunday mornings. Right. Same. Yes. <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. Love Bye, you long guys. time. Thanks for hanging out. Love you. We'll see you next time around. <laughs>